Here it is. EXP. This is something I've wanted to get my hands on for a while. And we're going to have a little look over this bad boy. And we're going to do it a little bit reverse. So you'll see I've already got it out of the box. And uh, yeah, don't want to bore you that bit. Just want to get straight into it. And then we can look at the box and the stuff inside and talk about all that. Uh, there it is. If you want a quick look, but I'll come back to that in a minute or many minutes, depending on how this goes. So had this uh, in my hands for hmm, a few weeks, maybe. Um, haven't had a huge amount of time with it at the beginning. Uh, played this one, this standard absolute banger of a game, which is California Games, which I'm going to get into. And uh, also going back to some of my other Evercade titles. So if you're not familiar with the Evercade, let's just turn that down a bit. So in the background, um, it comes in various forms and uh, yeah, I guess factors. Because the thing about it now is that it's developed over time and you've got a console version. I put links to some of the other previous stuff I've done on the Evercade below. Uh, which is uh, basically allows you to kind of have controllers with it, which is very cool. So you can set it up with your TV, have it permanently hooked up, and you can play your Evercade games in that as well. These are the Evercade games, just showing you them straight off the bat. So little cartridges here that are self-made, really, kind of purposely made for this system. And then you've got also, there's the original Evercade, which is around here somewhere, but I'm focusing on this today. Uh, you can look it up again. I'll put a link to that uh, previous one again, the video we did some time back. It's just been out for a little while now. And you've also got the little kind of Game Boy style, the uh, pocket smaller ones that have come out recently. So they're quite cute. And then you've got this, which I guess is their uh, high-end deluxe version of the original because the things have moved on the screen and everything. I'm not gonna do a full tech review. I'm gonna do it just from a gamer's point of view. Out of the box, pick up and play. Uh, we're gonna read some stuff off the box, but I really just talk about the games, how I think they play. Almost get into it a bit more. I'd say I've played around with this since the beginning. So it's a bit of self-discovery. And yeah, just uh, checking it out. Now, I'm gonna hold you there for one minute because I wanna show you the size. I always do a thing with size with other machines. So let's get a little few things around this uh, game room stroke office stroke den for me. Just bear with me one second. Right, okay, like, did that in real time. I'm gonna do this all in real time. No uh, edit, straight into it. So let's get a few things right. There it is against a Game Boy Advance. So you can see it's a bit bigger, screen's a lot bigger. Um, other random things, a 80s Coke machine and a Rubik's Cube. There you go, anyway, I think the, the Probably the best thing is this, just to show you how big the screen is. It's a really decent sized wide screen. And that's what you need really, isn't it? Now I've got a switch around here somewhere as well. Just bear with me, because that's also a good comparison. There's a Rubik's Cube, just for the hell of it, to show you that. That's, uh, has nothing to do with it whatsoever, but I just happen to a lot of this random stuff kicking around. Let's just leave that there. Yeah, so I thought I had to switch around, but anyway, that's gonna have to be your best bet, the Game Boy Advance. Um, I thought I had one, but I don't know where it is now. It's uh, hidden somewhere, so. You can see it's a very decent sized screen. So that's the first thing we'll kick off with, the actual quality of the screen. And <clears throat> let's just play some surfing. So this is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, the actual surfing, to be honest, within the Atari Lynx, so. See, it plays really smooth. Let's just bring that around. Rubbish. I can do a quadruple, come on. No. You can do better than that. That was disgusting, quite frankly. Um, but yeah, let's just hold that up. Let's just touch the, there you go. Getting really close. See the screen. I'm not playing really. I'm just trying to play through the camera now. 
just showing you the quality. It's pretty. Just touch. The, there you go. Get really close there. See the pixels. Yeah, it's uh, it's very good. It's very good, I have to say. So done a good job with the picture, guys and girls. Right, what we've got here. So I'll show you a few little things. So you've got a quick save, which I think you just press the A button, do you? Yeah, it just shows you a little sign there. You saw that, hopefully. And uh, let's do something like foot bag. Right, just get down there. We'll be we putting some other games on, don't worry. Uh, so this is, your, this is your little pause button. You've got load last save. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, because I just stopped there. That's a bit random. So if you're not in the middle of a game, you just get wherever you're at, which is quite good as well, because you know you might want to just stop not in the game itself. Um, I think it does it at most places anyway, but hey, um, there's a save, there's the load. Um, there you go, there's the quick save. I think that was from another time, probably. So that's quite a nice, let's just have a look at that again. Just put that, oh, there you go. So you can see the slots there, it's quite a nice view thing going on there. Um, so yeah, they've played a bit of attention, quite a lot of attention really to their interface, got their logo. Obviously you can see the battery life there, I've fully charged this for this little review. Um, go back button again, you're not trying to figure stuff out, it's quite easy to be able to navigate there, which compared to some things is pretty good. Controls again, showing you the uh, actual controls of the game, which is so useful because I always lose the instructions of things. It's my biggest night. I just don't read instructions or I lose instructions. Not lose, they just, I don't throw them away. They just kind of like disappear in the ether, which is um, my collection really. So it's really good to have a very quick fire thing of instructions. I mean, some of these games, obviously California games played like a million times, so I don't need it. But, you know, even the fact though, it might be a little bit different because obviously it's on a different console. I'll go through all the buttons in a minute as well. All right, what else we got? So let's go back. Uh, display settings, let's have a look at that. So you can look at the aspect ratio, which is kind of interesting. Full screen, pixel perfect, kind of interesting. Original ratio. What should we do here? Let's do pixel perfect, try that out. Scan lines. I like no scan lines sometimes, to be honest. Um, I don't know what your preference is. Tell me in the comments. Sometimes a little bit of scan, but sometimes it's too heavy with uh, this emulation stuff. So I'm going to go for subtle. Let's look at strong. Wow, it looks pretty strong. None. I'll do a little subtle. Bezel. Uh, you've got like a wide frame. Wow, there's loads of little variations there. I'm going to try the Rashid Loft. Yeah. Okay, interesting. There you got wide frame. And you've got Evercade. You can see that. I'm going to come up a bit closer. And you got like a... I kind of like it just plain, to be honest. Logo Legends. Okay, so you got a bit of like outside art and stuff, which is kind of interesting. So it's a bit of just, I don't normally go into these things, I have to say, when I'm playing stuff. So this is really for you, for the review. Box art. Let's have a look at that. Can we look at that? Box art. Maybe not. Box art. Why is that not coming through? Maybe it's just me. Okay, so I'm going to quit that. Um, that's quite cool, right? So look at this, you get a little descriptor. Let's just touch the camera, see if it'll focus. Come on, camera, focus. Yep, focusing, can you see that? Hopefully, yeah. So you can read it off there. Welcome to California, dude. Get ready for Radis, most bodacious game this side of Milky Way. California Games takes you to the sunny beaches. I'm reading this about my glasses as well, which is quite remarkable. So you get a little write up there, which is cute. Uh, use the close button again, really easy to navigate around. Um, it shows you, I mean, it's like a little instant display thing. Done a really good job on the UI, I have to say. Um, yeah, it's really simple to get in and out of. And you, I say you've got your play, last save. You've also got competition mode, which is interesting. Do you want to launch competition mode? Using this mode allows you to prove your true mastery in-game saves and save states to be disabled. Ah, interesting. So I might just do that. Why not? Now, I might not be hooked up to, to internet at the moment. Oh, no, I am. 
So this is interesting. I've got competition mode on. I haven't done this before. Let's just turn it up a bit and we play this. We will play other games, don't worry. It's a bit like me when I play Spectrum. I just play Manic Miner. Or Jetpack, actually, if you followed the uh, channel for a bit. Let's try BMX. Now, I'm playing this for the camera, so that's my excuse. I should have just done surfing, really. This is going to be horrendous. I do have... Oh, don't distract. The thing about this BMX, you always find you, you kind of... Those little pipes, they're always blocking you like that. So you have to kind of swerve. Oh, it's going bad now. I don't want to be negative, but I'm not going to have to get this. Because you just can't get around it. Oh. Ah. So I just give up. Should we have a decent game of surfing instead? No, let's carry on. Come on. Oh, that was such a bad move. I knew. You know when you're just about to do something? And you're like, why am I doing that? That was that move. I'm going to title this um, something like playing EXP very badly. Because I am, quite frankly. Yep, yeah, there's no excuses. It's nothing to do with playing it through the camera. It's just appalling gameplay. Oh, what? Again, I just I was talking to you and then it just went in my brain. Oh, let's do a somersault and let's do it again. <laughs> I'm not even going to make this. It's so bad. I mean, I can at least make it normally. Right. Yeah, don't press the wrong button. Come on, let's just get some speed up now. It's not going to get to the end. Come on, just, just get to the end, boy. Come on. I hate that when it does that. I mean, two seconds to go. Pitiful. Bitching. All right, let's do surfing, shall we? Let's do it. Let's, let's have a proper game of everything, at least. So again, just want to talk about the, uh, the display. So this is in competition mode. Um, so you've got that kind of bezel thing going on around the corner. I guess at the end you might be able to. I think it's something to do with the high scores. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. It's not going great, guys. I'm going to get some more. Right, I'm going to pause it. Let's get back into some stuff. So, um, right. Let's just do that. So, in terms of other stuff, you've got. Um, I think it's your volume down there, if I'm not mistaken. You've also got your uh, power in, so that's a USB-C, I'm pretty sure of that. You've also got a headphone socket, so you can put a dongle in there. Now, I believe you can do maybe wireless um, Bluetooth, but let's just maybe get into the settings to figure that out. Again, this is more of a pick up and play discovery thing. Um, uh, wow, yeah, so that's a really cool feature. I won't show you that, so that, see that? Let's push that little button. That basically allows you to play games like 1942. So you're playing it um, effectively portrait uh, as opposed to the landscape. And all the buttons work really decent for that. So the Atari Lynx kind of does this, if you get my meaning. Um, but this allows you to play both both ways really well. So yeah, a lot of those games on the Lynx um, will play like that. Let's get into a bit of that as well. What else you got here? So you've got also your HDMI. So you can hook it up to basically your TV, which is really decent. And then you've got your power button there. You've got your little paddles uh, that you can see here. And obviously that's where the cartridge goes in. Cartridge goes in. And then you've got your speakers um, here. You can turn it around so it's the right way around. So that's your speaker. It's a pretty good speaker. It's not ultra loud, but you know, it's a handheld. I don't really want it playing mega loud if I'm at home Certainly in public, I'm more likely to put into here anyway, put into the headphones. I'm going to get the headphones in. Obviously, I can't show you that, but that is pretty decent sound coming through the headphones. I do like that little feature. It's very, very cool. Let's just carry on. Uh, let's go back. That's a weird sound I just made there. Back. Quit. I'm going to quit. It's just... It's just shocking, isn't it, really? So let's just quit that. Let's go A and back. Right, let's have a look at some of the other games. Uh, I'm going to get onto the game package that came with it in a minute, which is very groovy because it's the Iron package. One of my favourite games on there, which is R-Type. There's also some built-in games, which I'm going to come on to. Um, but this is the Atari Lynx Collection 2. So there's eight games on here. 
you can see here. I'm just going to have a quick game of this game, which is a fun action game, really. It's called Blue Lightning. Uh, so again, it gives you all the intel about the game, which is really nice. And I own this game originally um, somewhere. I'm just trying to see where it is. Not rare, but I've got, yeah, got the original as well. But why not play it on here? Exactly. Right, so play. It's the only thing I find a little bit, so I'm kind of down there and wonder where I am, but it's easy to navigate, isn't it? I mean, a child could do it. So I've got this bezel thing going on as well. I quite like that, you know, a bit of variety, um, but I also like the white and obviously making it bleed to the screen as well. I uh, don't have the mission code. All right, let's hold this up. Get a bit of Top Gun action going on. Ooh, quite groovy, isn't it? Let's hold the... It's kind of like a, uh, a Toro Lynx version of Afterburner. See that missiles go. I always felt with this game, though, I suppose it's the uh, limitations, just needed a bit of music. But then it has a kind of flight simulation style thing of it as well, which is quite cute. I love the clouds. See that? Clouds are wicked. Kind of six, well, 8 bit, 16 bit. They look pixelated anyway, which I quite like. Just throwing missiles around everywhere I am. There's no care in the world. What happens if you do that? You don't want to do that. Oh, incoming. Um, let's go down to the ground. Whoa. Okay. Let's come out of that. Quit. And go back and go back. Come on, go back, go back. All right, so, okay, yeah, that's it. Then we get to this homepage thingy, midjiggy. Um, hidden games, I think that's when you're kind of uploading it with your tinternet. And then they're coming soon, just to get our attention. It's exciting, isn't it? So this is where they deliver stuff down the pipe, which is, again, really cute, because obviously... This is what Evercade's about. It's about content, bringing you more stuff. So this is the built-in collection. So let's just bring this around in a box here. This is uh, Capcom. Games are officially licensed with the product, so no hooky ROMs on this. It's all official. I say so you've got the 1942, 1943, 1944. 1944 is this game I haven't played that much. I'm more familiar with these two, which we'll get into. You also get Bionic Commando, which is a classic. Final Fight, come on. That's just so good they included that. Commando again, another brilliant game. Played that a lot on the Commodore 64 and the Speccy even, but the Commodore 64 version. Rob Hubbard music is awesome. And it's, yeah, decent, obviously, to have it on here as well. you got a mix as well. With the other K, you've got some arcade games, some actual... Uh, games from the console version. See my little Evercade wipe here. I'm just going to do that. Keep it nice and sort of clean. So send that to me, which is nice. And what else we've got here? We've got Go Alls and Ghosts. We've got Forgotten Worlds, Mega Man, Strider. Wow, yeah, let's get into that. I'm not really good at it, but, you know, it's a great game. It's not about being good, is it? It's just enjoying it. That's the main thing. So I'm going to play Strider very badly. Love this game. I mean, when this came out on the Mega Drive, it was just superb. So let's check it out. We've got the, uh, obviously, the information about how to play. It gives you a little warning there because it's the old flashing lights. And let's put the sound up. Come on, kick in now. Let you see that. How? Give you a bit of close up, shall we? Um, let's bring the screen up. Just need to touch the camera. That's it. Wow. Oh, come on. Show me more. Show me more. Show me your track mode. Come on. Show me your track mode. 
I'm waiting. That's it. Just touch the camera. Oh, please, a bit more. Oh, that is so nice. See that? Yeah, you get the idea. Right, let's get into it. Okay, so how do we add a credit? Add a credit. No. Add a credit. Add a credit. Add a credit. See, I'm Mr. Instruction, no man. There you go. Credit. <laughs> get there in the end. Just press all the buttons, me. Love that. This is where it goes a bit wrong now. I am terrible at this game. I'm not making any excuses. I think it, it looks so amazing, I just get distracted. And I'm trying to play it through with it. Ah, oh, I just know it. you're not going to see much, guys. Oh, I'm amazed I did that, to be honest. So normally I have to flush it. I'm not going to get confident either. Ah, oh, like that. It's just the stress levels. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> Oh, wow. I don't even normally do that. <laughs> it just fell. Oh, well. Listen, don't come here to see uh, One Credit Clears. See my buddy for that. One Credit Classics. All right, let's just pull that forward so you can at least see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I can see it through the camera. Come on, matey. Fear of getting up. Just, I, I'm going to fall or they're going to get me. Oh, just... Right, I've given up. <laughs> let's just get out of that now. I told you. It was just shocking. Right, let's get back. Okay, what else we got? I'm not going to do Final Fight. It's too obvious, but I will get back to that in a sec. Uh, Commando, let's have a little pop on that. Pressing the right button, the A button. So this is 1985. This really is an old retro game, isn't it? Let's face it. So, yeah. That looks quite small. What have I done there? That's interesting. Yeah, I don't think I can play at that size, especially with my glasses. Is that because it should be doing that? That's why, isn't it, girls and boys? See what happens there if you don't uh, press that. It's just like, it's commando for ants, isn't it? That old expression. So I'll show you this playing on the old, here we go. Wow, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, it's so cool to play at this angle, actually. Could see him coming up behind me. You goddamn varmint. Oh. How did I not shoot him? He's the same dude. He's come back to get me again. Got stuck in a tree there. <laughs> this is hard. So this is not the specy version or the Commodore version. This is the arcade. Which is amazing, really. They've got to have the arcade games. I mean... This is a trouble with some of these, just NES uh, versions. Nothing against the NES, but, you know, I want to play the arcade. If it's an arcade game, very badly, like I am. Get through the tunnel, at least. It's just They just go mad, this lot. Get the grenade in there. Ah, oh, yeah. Should we go another go? I don't know if I can uh, put you through it, to be honest. Let's play something else. Let's quit. Okay, because we're going to go and play R type very badly in a minute. Let's just get A, a out and then back. Right, final fight. Let's have a bit of that. So, again, shows you the cool little scenaroonies. Press play. As that loads, I'm just going to get this out to save a little bit of time. 
There's the box, which we're going to come back to. And you can see there, we can take that out. And there's the bit with the cardboard that came in, which I'm going to put there. I'm not going to show you too much cardboard. There's another bit of cardboard. There it goes. There's the wire. There's Final Fight. That's the charger, FYI. Put that down there. There's some instructions. Yeah, don't worry about those. No, no offense, Capcom, but I don't read the instructions because I'm useless at reading instructions. But they are really pretty, to be honest. But I will come back to them. But I give instructions off there, but I am not condoning not putting instructions in. I love instructions. I just like to look at them, really. Like, from, from the front, not the inside. But I do read them occasionally. It's just time for me. There's the eye room. And then, sorry, it's playing in the background, but I might as well just do the unboxing right now. Look. There goes the camera. Wow. I just about saved that. Let's just take that out. You get the general idea. It's a quick start guide. I nearly knocked the camera over. Which would have been horrendous to try and do this in one hit. So you get the live feel about it all. Something just fell out behind me. That was my vitamins, funny enough. Um, yeah, made a little shaky noise. Um, don't worry, I'm not gonna go into an advert to sell my vitamins. This is, uh, this is not that kind of channel. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not a health and fitness channel, but we'll come on to that another time. Uh, I have started to improve things on that front. Anyway, don't digress, stick to the program. We've got here the quick start guide, <laughs> funny enough. Uh, power, plug, play. There you go. Again, about what I did earlier, just to clarify, that's where you kind of power it up. You've got the headphone socket, there's the volume up and down. It's on highest it can be. You've got power to hold. You've got, it's a mini HDMI, just to remind you. And then you've got all the bits on the back, the right way around. Charging low battery shows you what the light does. You get the idea. Right. Come on to this in a minute. It's a nice box. Stick with the program. Okay, so we've got Final Fight. Let's have a little go at that. And we're gonna finish with the unboxing, which is a bit bizarre. It's kind of a de-boxing, isn't it really? It's not an unboxing. Let's put some, uh... ooh, I just like doing that. Okay, exciting, isn't it? Because you don't have to put money in, you see. I'm just gonna change a little thing on display a minute. Uh, let's just do that. It's all perfect. I might go full screen. Full beam, wide screen. Uh, mm, let's have strong scan lines, and let's have no bezel, and yeah, that will do. And let's go back, okay. And let's go start. Okay, I want to show you. Oh, pressing the, that just shows my age. <laughs> I press the screen instead of the camera to show you the close-up, boy. This is how bad it's getting. We're nearly half an hour in, I'm amazed that anybody's still watching, but uh, if you are, welcome. Because we're now into some serious shit. This is Final Fight, guys. Absolute classic. Let's play it. I will talk as I play, so it's gonna go bad. I'm bad enough as it is without talking, but when I'm talking, I can't do two things at once which my wife tells me constantly. I can barely do one thing at once, let alone two things at once. So what we're picking up here, okay, so let's just come in, get the camera, come on camera, do your thing, right. I would say it's pretty, from my point of view, I'm no like expert, you know, I don't have a poly mega. They are cool, um, and I don't have all the high spec stuff. Look, I sometimes play games through an RF cable, come on. But this looks really, really colourful, sweet, smooth. The pixels look good. I'm trying to give you, let me just hold it there, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Get the camera going so I can show you. Yeah, it's good. It's nice and shiny, bright, colourful. It moves well. I don't feel any lag as I'm playing these games. Sounds good. I'm trying to show you up close so you get an idea. Let's get a Sani. I'm play this for a bit and then I'm gonna get into R type and then we're gonna de-box. De-box at the end. Let's change things around. Everybody does unboxings. I'm gonna do a de-boxing. De-boxing the AXP. 
All right, let's go. Ooh, nice little uh, move there. Okay, at that point, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna use the special skills. Is that save? Load. Yes, I'd say it did. Okay, we are going to do that. And one important thing when you've got a handheld, people, is don't just pull it out when it's playing. Now, I don't think it, well, I say, if I read the instructions, I'd know this, wouldn't I? I don't think it says that, but I just don't do it. It's just the sort of thing I've never done. I'm pretty sure it screws up the console if you just keep whacking it out mid-play. Um, it can't be good for it. So I've turned it off. Out comes this. It's going to gently, carefully find something to put that on so it doesn't scratch. Let's just put that carefully down like that. Okay, so then we get the game, which is um, not in built, because obviously that's the Capcom stuff I just showed you, but the Irim package, which is an arcade package, very nice. Um, you've seen all this stuff before from Evercade. If you haven't, then you've seen it for the first time here. Again, have a look at my previous stuff down in the description I mentioned. You get a little instruction manual. Listen, I know I made the joke about instructions, but I do love instructions, massively condone publishers for putting instructions in. It's a great move. Um, in terms of like switch, this stuff, everything, just keep going. And you've got the instructions for all the different games that are in here, which are kind of mimics obviously on the inside, but it just gives that whole collector's feel. Cause that's the thing about this product. It's really, especially when you get into the games, collecting the physical piece as well. So there's six games on this. You've got R-Type, Moon Patrol, Battle Chopper, not that familiar with. In the Hunt, again, not that familiar with. Or Lightning Swords, a bit. Ten Yard Fight, I am. But our types the money shot for me, which you're going to play now. So let's get it in. Put that there. This is how easy it is. Again, I'm deboxing. Didn't show you this at the beginning because it's just putting something in a cartridge. Turn it around. Put the power button on. Hold it for a couple of seconds. Not a second will do. It comes up with a green light. And you see that is green. And off you go. But yeah, just wanted to do it reverse way around because like just how I would do it really, I'd just be playing it. I wouldn't be just staring at the box myself, just doing it naturally. I'd do that at the end, get into it a bit more. I tend to do that, you know, as a kid, even when I was like, I don't know, six, seven years old, getting on the bus. Yes, I did. Like with my mates, going to town, picking up things. I would just like get all the instructions out of the way and just pile into it. Um, that's just the way I roll. So that's how we're going to roll. Irim and R-Type. Let's finish off with one of the best games ever made. I have to say, it really is. This is the original arcade ROM, which is fantastic. Again, not knocking you know some of the other ports, but a Spectrum version of this is really decent. And in fact, um, if you play it on the next, you can accelerate it as well. But you can't be having it on the original. Let's chuck some credits in. This is going to be bad. I'm not good at this game, especially like this, but you've got to see it. You've got to see it to believe it. And then you press the screen there, not the camera screen. So there's the holding screen. Let's get into it. Might go a little bit quiet just for a minute, just to show you. And then we're going to end with this uh, D box and show you it. Jeez, being quiet makes no difference whatsoever to me. Okay, I'm just going to talk to him. So this is an absolute 80s classic. And it was published by Irim. Absolute beauty of the game. Sorry, developed rather. And then uh, it was Capcom who uh, published it. Get it the white ray round, boy. Again, my brain is fixated to try and actually show you some gameplay that horrendously dying. I think I've hexed myself. Oh no, got him. There's no auto fire on this, unless there might be in the settings, which I, all the instructions maybe, <laughs> which I haven't read, funny enough. Wow, this bit's hard. That was very lucky. That was not planned. Come on. I always feel with this game, like think like uh think salamander or nemesis i need extra stuff i can't survive just on that lightning bolt thingy like there this is the good bit as well oh no i'm back here 
It's good. I love that lightning bolt. Dude just got me from underneath. Come on, man. Right. D-box time. Okay, so, as I say, you get the package. So it's like seven seconds. I have seven, six seconds to D-box. Not quite. I showed you that already. Right, the actual box. So it's all emblazoned with the Evercade shenanigans. You've obviously got games from Capcom, Irem, which is really sweet, which I've shown you some of them here. Let's just go back. Let's just go back. Let's go back, go back, go back, back, back. So, and uh, we can have a look at them, which you mentioned anyway. Got Moon Patrol R-Type. What else on the box? You've got a little kind of emblem at the back. You've also got the uh, kind of details, really, about the Evercade EXP, which is uh, obviously a cartridge video game system. But you do have built-in games as well, which is kind of sweet. Uh, play Vertical for arcade action. So these are the things that separate it from the original one. You've got HD on a TV. You've got scanline filters. You've got your save states. You've got your built-in games, which is, again, a really nice touch to have those. And it comes complete here. I think the thing for me is the look and feel of it. It's a really nice wide screen. It feels nice. They've got, you know, little just little features like when you're holding it. I'll kind of show you here. It's got a slightly, you can't really see that, but got a slightly kind of mottled effect so it feels nice under your hands it's a good solid feel again don't want to do that too much but you know you could drop this and not be worried i might get a little kind of skin to put over the screen i have taken that off so you guys can see it easy it's just touch the camera there but yeah what else about it from a gamer's point of view again the buttons feel really decent um nice push on them you can hear them clicking like that. Every button clicks. It's very important. The D-pad again, got some click to it. It feels it feels light, but not cheap. You get my meaning? So I don't want it heavy in my hands because I'm holding it like this. I'm not, I personally hold a, one of these up because I don't want to like croon my neck too much. And um, it doesn't feel heavy, but it feels solid. I think that's the word for it. That fits in really nicely. There's no, it doesn't blip over the top. So you're kind of touching your hand. I mean, you might not put your hands that far around, but again, it's level. In fact, you get my meaning there. Power button's good. I like the little light thing here. Overall, very, very happy with this. Uh, this would be my go-to. I think the other uh, original Evercade, it's more probably like take it and have it everywhere. Maybe Sometimes um, I have like a gym bag, which is my kind of go-to, just for going to sort of going days out. I'll probably have the other one in there for that. I'll have this more maybe at home. And if I take to like a holiday events, that kind of thing, I can see myself using that. I will also get a case for it as well, because that screen I'll be a bit concerned about damaging it because it is such a beauty. Um, so yeah, overall, I would give this a high rating. Definitely would recommend this as a retro gaming alternative. There's lots of different things out there at the moment, obviously, in terms of handheld. Um, but having the original games officially licensed, I like the idea of having these original packaging. And yeah, overall, a decent job, guys, up to Evercade. So I'm very pleased with this, and I hope you enjoyed this video and watch it to the end, maybe you've dipped into it. I will be doing more stuff like this, so give me some feedback. I wanna try and do some different kinds of videos, definitely some more product reviews, got more products to show, even old stuff as well. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys and girls.